Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about user events. So a user can interact with your application in multiple ways. They could, for example, click, uh, they could type data, they could press certain key combinations, they can swipe, they can drag, and so on. But today we are going to focus on two user events you will use the most, which are on click and on change. So let's get started with the on click event. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a button right here. But before I do that, um, I will show you um, something I like to name my app.js file because right now if you type button, um, my code editor will uh, not give me any hints. But now let's change the app.js file to app.jsx. And now you will see because I already started up the application with uh, npm start and now if we go back to my application you will see it says that um, it can't find the file app.js which is true because we have renamed it so to prevent this from happening we can simply say ctrl c and run the command npm start again and then we have to wait before it gets started there we go now it works so now if I type button it will do all these autofills for me. So let's put that in here and give it a co text content of click me. So now if we save it, we got ourselves a button. Now I can give this button a on click event. So I can say on click. And now we're going to pass in an arrow function. And I will say console log button was clicked and now when I save it and I open up my console and I click the button you will see it will console log button was clicked so that's a very simple example of the on click event the next one I'd like to show you is the on change event so let's say we have a form and I can remove this for now and we have an input field I can say on change and now instead of console logging I could take in the um, event right here if I will pass the error function if I hover over E right now it was a react change event HTML input element and now I can say console log the event so if I change it and now, as soon as I start typing, you will see that it console logs the event. And as you can see, it is a pretty big object um, with all kinds of properties on here. But if I go down here, click on target, go all the way down, click here because there is a lot of properties right here. And I click on value. You will see it will show me the current um, value of that input field. So I could say console log e dot target dot value, and now I will refresh the page to clear the console. And now if I start typing right here, it will constantly update what's in that input field right here. So that was it for user events. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.